So code comments are very important when you're developing applications, no matter which language you're using. So we've used code comments by highlighting a piece of text, and on a Mac we'd hit command forward slash, or you can just highlight and then go to edit and comment and toggle comment this way. So we know that by doing that, we kind of disable the code temporarily, and we save the page and take a look at what we've changed. So it's a way of turning on and off code, but there's a more important reason for using comments, and it's for other humans to come in and read and get a sense of what you were coding. See, the thing is, there's a value to writing good comments, and there's this rule of thumb that you can't comment enough. So you should really comment and be very clear and concise about what you're trying to do, because what will happen is a year or two later you might come back and look at some code and you won't even understand why you put it there. And it's, it's even more important when you're working with other developers and larger teams or freelancers. They're going to come in, they're going to look at this code, and it's super helpful for them to have comments. So let's go ahead and add some comments here. I'm just going to add a comment here at the top and say... So just something simple like that will do for now. We can uh, make them a little bit more elaborate. And um, from here we'll go over to our style sheet and we'll talk about this as well. So notice I used two forward slashes here. Inside of PHP tags, that's how you write a comment. So this won't get interpreted by PHP. It just won't render anything. So that's the beauty of comments. You kind of just bypass the code and they're just human readable. Okay, so over here, the way we do comments in CSS, as you could probably guess, it's like this. It's that forward slash and then asterisk. So we'll just add one above here and we'll say, and we can be even more specific by saying bootstrap jumbotron, like that. So make sure you save your files. And so that's a CSS comment. This is a PHP comment here. And if we go over here, we've seen HTML comments already. If I wanted to eliminate the Jumbotron, I could highlight all of it and comment it out. And that's what HTML comments look like. They're kind of this structure with the angle bracket, exclamation point, dash, dash. And then on the other side of the commented out code, you do just dash, dash angle bracket. No exclamation point on the closing tags for these comments. Okay, so if I save that and go over here and refresh, there, that jumbotron goes away. So I'm going to highlight all of this and just kind of bring it back by hitting command forward slash and then save that. Go over here and refresh, and there we go, it's back. So just wanted to point out the importance of comments. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and delete this line of code. We don't need this anymore since we're now doing it using best practices. We're loading Bootstrap up properly. All right. 